Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, hello everyone. I'm, my name is Chang Soo Kim from Republic of, of Korea, of course known as uh, South Korea. And uh, uh, I do not speak English well, so I have uh, prepared the text and I will read uh, this text uh, possibly uh, slowly, very slowly. And please, please see the screen. And uh, also, uh, if you have any question after the, uh, my presentation, please give, give me uh, 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 what, you, what, what you want. OK, okay then, then uh, I'll begin. Uh, for me personally, uh, a city is a living environment. Uh, 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 an organic creature that continuously metamorphoses. Uh, sorry. It is also a familiar space, uh, a place in which behavior can be traced. Uh, as a primary scope for life, uh, a city is a matrix of growth and formation uh, uh, in my life. In order to create my artwork, uh, after deciding to participate uh, in the Banner Project 2012, I collected the information and related uh, references about the city in which my work will be installed. Uh, uh, because I have never been to Denmark, I had to rely uh, on some photographs and text to Denmark, text of Denmark, however, my, my focus was on how to harmonize my artificial artwork uh, with the natural beauty of Shenan Ishun uh, and other cities in Denmark. If you presuppose that artwork stands for a small society uh, and the materials of this art, artwork stand for each member of society, uh, materials for my artwork are photographs of Shenan Ishim and other cities from internet website. Uh, so it can be said that uh, they are fragments of a city life. My artwork consists of group A and group B. First of all, uh, each is separate piece in group A and is uh, paired with a piece in group B and has the same background color. In addition, the 13 different background color you see uh, uh, came from the photos of Shenan Ishim uh, uh, city. Uh, on the background color, vertical elements in group A and horizontal elements in group B are arranged in an attempt to create harmony uh, between background colors and the formation. Uh, then on the vertical horizontal ele element, uh, the images are arranged so that all 13 pieces have organic uh, relationships with each other. First, for the first 13 pieces in group A, I used Google Earth uh, and took 13 satellite images uh, of Shenanism city. Then I arranged the main images uh, from the extensive to the narrow ones, uh, so that if you see the fishes in succession, you can experience an animated effect uh, that the city map in the photographs is gradually approaching. That means uh, if you see the uh, images, then uh, from a very wide angle to very uh, small angle. So you can see if it's continually, then you can, if, if you take a, take a car, then you can see it is gradually approaching the, then. Uh, for group B, uh, partial, uh, 12 partial photographs, that each photograph is divided into four parts uh, and seen vertically are arranged in order from the top to bottom. Then the partial works from number one to 12 are completed and seen as a completed artwork on the piece number 13. Hmm. Again from number one to 13, each piece has its own meaning and value, but I originally intended a process in which each unit harmonizes with the others and creates uh, the entire city. 
uh, in my past artwork emphasized and gave, gave meaning of a pixel, uh, an elementary unit of the digital image, and I have tried polysemous theme uh, expression by using print uh, method and created other images with these pixels. Thus, in my banner project species, uh, the main images uh, in group A and uh, B are produced uh, with pixel images. The meaning of a pixel image, uh, the part creating a whole and the whole creating a part uh, must be remembered. In this sense, uh, I intended that theory of Shenanishim uh, and other beautiful cities in Denmark uh, uh, are the fruition of the harmony between nature and artificial uh, environment and each person who lives in the city. Here now, I briefly want to introduce the concepts and the themes of my recent work. Uh, in my early work, I focused on the expression of city uh, superficial beauty. It's just superficial beauty uh, by shapes from the face. However, recently I gradually opened my mind and eyes to the relationship uh, between persons and each individual uh, who has his, her own particular identity. Uh, my digital images created uh, since 2001 have actively uh, reflected this tendency. This, this drawing uh, uh, I have made when I was a student, so I have in, intended to uh, study with the traditional uh, painting or uh, drawing skills. So I, I'll show you just a few pictures more. This is painting around a little bit, little bit bigger than uh, this size. <laughs> that was uh, some kind of <laughs> 19, 1999, uh, before, before 2000. <laughs> yeah. uh, here now, I prefer, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the expression comes with a certain message, just as the media bring a message. A new expression can imply a new vision and the value system for an object. It has been focused on investigating the relationship between the ego, individual, and the others in a city and the inside story. Furthermore, it has been tried to express <coughs> the type of intersection awareness in life and its, its circularity uh, by bringing up the topic of the status of the individual in numerous social friendships, principles, and systems. This phenomenon has been observed around the world. The construction of a mutual understanding between artists and the audience uh, has been attempted through the visualization and the expression of these phenomena the visualization uh, or what we might lose uh, in the digital era has been attempted by re examining the ego uh, that has gradually become anonymous and impersonal and the value of the individual. Uh, instead of considering the positive effect uh, of a technical or technological uh, development on individuals. So, I'm a little bit busy, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the penumbra, you see, the penumbra is a region in which we all, only a pos, uh, portion of the occulting body obscures uh, the light source. An observer in the penumbra uh, experiences a partial eclipse in these artworks uh, attention has been paid to, to what we have lost and ignored so far by shunning advertisement or uh, actuated visual phenomena. That means uh, 
uh, penumbra is a, a shadow area, but the light is too too strong. Then you cannot recognize this, this uh, shadow area. So that means, so in the in the society, there is a sh shadow area, and we recognize that. So uh, passed by. So it is very important. To everybody is uh, important as a. Uh, 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 how can I say, as a, a part of the society, society uh, then they should, we should harmonize with the, with the others. So that means we should uh, concentrate it to see also the shadow, uh, shadow area of the society. That means my intention. So in terms of the way expression is considered in the penumbra works, there is a repeated reinterlacation or uh, layered overlap. Interlace is a whole progressive is expression method, a biased concept, uh, which is substitutes in, in security, uh, which mechanical complement. Uh, this is a method of uh, imp implementing an image, which is widely used uh, in electronic media, and at the same time, a visual phenomenon uh, the expression is called the contemporary paradigm. In terms, uh, in terms of the classification of the TV resolution, the number of vertical resolution lines is mentioned generally in the dictionary. The meaning of interlace is a method of uh, uh, interlace the scanning image uh, implementation. That means you, you see the secret screen. For the one picture, there is a even and odd numbered lines. Then uh, even or the odd numbered lines should uh, uh, draw it uh, in the screen. And then you can see whole, whole picture. Uh, that, uh, that uh, so sorry. With this method, an uh, image is created by uh, uh, displaying dots on odd, even, and odd numbered lines in turn, instead of making an entire complete image at once. Because of the time difference, however, mild flickering can occur on, on the screen. To configure an image, therefore, two interlaced scanning frames uh, are needed. These two incomplete frames complement each other and each interest image is dependent, dependent on the other, which reminds of ourselves that we tend to view things based on our uh, own perspective or prejudice. 